Hey, what's up? Continue on with our video series, what it's really like in Japan. I'm going to show you what it's really like in Japan with one of the first things that you're probably going to do in Japan, one of the most important things. When you first get here, you're going to do it for sure. No, 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 no doubt, right? I'm going to give you a little time to guess what it is. You definitely need to do it. Yes? Time's up, right? You're wrong, whatever you said, because it really is Japanese toilets, right? right? You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to come here and you're going to do some poo-poo, you're going to do some pee-pee. It's just got to be done, right? Um, hopefully you're already doing it in your home country. If not, I, I wish you the best of luck to, you know, I don't, you don't contact me about it. But oh, okay. Anyway, Japanese toilets are actually very, very different. I'm not going to show you that we're not going to go there today. <laughs> Maybe another time, but not today. I'm just going to show you the Japanese toilet itself because it's very different. I'm going to show you how it works and stuff. Um, and they're really actually very cool. They're, it's Japan. It's the electronic center of the world. So they're like electronic robots. They're intelligent beings and they're great. Um, I really do. They're really cool. I really love them. They're way different than American toilets. But also, part of me also really kind of hates them. You know, it's kind of I have a love and hate relationship with my Japanese toilet. But um, I know you're excited to see, um, to get into that toilet action. You're really ready to do it. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's go get to it. Okay, so here we are. We're in, this is the glorious, the Japanese toilet in all its wonderful splendor. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Okay, don't worry. I washed it. It's all clean and nice. But um, anyway, first of all, this room is really tiny. I don't know if you can see this. We're all crunched up here. We've got this little, this is how I get to know you. You see, this is the wall. Here's a wall, and then wall, and then like wall, right right here. It's like a little box room. And you know, most Japanese toilets are like this. They're really, really tiny. That's the first difference you're gonna see. And it's also separate usually from the sink and the, and the shower too. They're never really usually together in the same area. Um, so first thing you gotta do when you get into one of these babies is most of the time, you're gonna see something like this. You see this? It says in wonderful, Writing with a flower, accompanied of a, a company of a flower. It's his toilet, right? And they're red. And you gotta wear those inside the Japanese toilet. Um, you, ha you usually do. It's kind of a rule. Some places don't do it. So, but you're always usually gonna see some slippers just sitting there that for multi-purpose. I'm sorry, I hit the camera. Um, you can use it for lots of people. Anybody can use it, right? And then, of course, the more important part is the actual toilet here itself. You've got this little electronic panel. This is pretty cool. It's got all little buttons and stuff. And you can, it controls things of the toilet we'll go into in a few seconds. Well, at first I should probably show you the whole toilet. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a little, little panoramic view with this camera. We're going to go up. Yeah, look at that. There's the top. And then there we go down. And then we go back to normal. And that's about, that's about all I'm going to do for you. Because that's just, that's it. Anyway, um, so yeah. So these, these buttons are, are of, of most interest. They're very interesting. Let's open this up. You see this? This is the inside. All clean. Like I said, I cleaned it up. Um, it has a little little black thing right here. You see that? That's not poo-poo. This is a radar little thing. It can tell whether you're sitting on the toilet and when you're not. Kind of creepy, well, I know. But other than that, this seat here, right here, this is actually warm to the touch. Very warm. You can control the settings over here with this, these buttons over here and make it hotter or warmer. So, like, God, I don't know about you, but when I come and I have to, you know, do my thing in the morning, this thing is freezing and I hate to touch it. So a lot of times I'll do like a squat and won't even get on the toilet because it's so cold. It freezes my booty. In Japan, I don't have to do that. This is all warm for me constantly. It's wonderful, right? Like I said, you can control the settings there. In addition to that, probably the point of most interest is actually the booty washer, right? You may have heard of the booty washer. Um, it's in Japan and they wash your booty. So right, here's buttons here. And basically what happens is a little thing will come out <laughs> and then it'll, that's, this is nasty, but I know, and then it'll squirt water and it, it'll in the booty hole and it cleans the booty hole and then you have a clean booty hole. It's really, it's very interesting, I'll tell you that. I tried it one time and I screamed so loud, I hurt my own ears and I couldn't hear for a couple hours. This, this was the torment, this was like torture, torture toilet, it was really bad, but a lot of people like it, you know, they like the booty washed. I didn't particularly like my booty washed, but I'm going to explain how it works for you today here with all the little settings here. So first of all, zoom in here, we've got this button here. This means stop. So I wasn't aware of this button when I was doing my booty wash, which was very inconvenient for me because I just, I just sat there and took the torture. It, it went on for like, seriously, like 10 minutes. And then, so this is important. 
Or this is the most important button of the Japanese toilet. Then you got this. This means Oshiri, oh, this washes your booty, right? That's a little that's a little booty getting washed. A picture of it. And then <laughs> and then this is Yawarakai. This means this is softer. I wasn't aware of this button either. This means it's you know it's this it's the theory is it's softer, you know it doesn't hurt so much. <laughs> and then this one this one says pink. Right, this one's for girls. It washes other things. And then the last one here, right, this other stuff back here is not so important. But the last one here, this is, I like this one. This is a nice button. This blow dries the booty. It's really, it's a nice feeling. It blows warm air and you're dry, which you will need after you've been soaked with the booty washer, right? So it's like a little car wash. It's really nice. You go through the whole process. I don't do it, but you might want to do it. You might want to try it properly. Back here, we've got other settings. You control the temperature of this, right? You can control the temperature of the water, the booty washer, right? You can also, well, you can control the amp temperature of the, the booty blower, right? The booty, it blows the air. You can have it hotter or warmer, depending on your tastes. Um, and there's another thing. This button back here, it actually cleans the toilet for you. You don't have to clean the toilet. The little thing that I told you about, the little thing comes out and then it cleans the toilet. So that's great. You don't have to clean the toilet <coughs> in Japan. That's nice. Well, it's, you know, sometimes, but... Very, very convenient, very, 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 very interesting. Other than that, the other differences are out here, we've got, this is a typical, oh, you can't see that, let's, let's do a little bit more of this here. Zooming up, and then right here, you see this, this is the typical flusher, but there's two settings, you, you push it this way, and that, this says small, and then big, kind of, you push it this way, and it, it washes just a little bit of water, so you can save water, that's nice, and then up here, this is big, this is when you need, you've got a lot of big, big stuff going on. You push this and then it washes, it washes big, is what it does. So, if you don't want to save water, or if you have other things going on, use the big one. I always use the big one, I don't know. Anyway, then there's this one. <laughs> I'm, I hate the environment, it's just what it is. Okay, and then there's this, this is great, I really like this. So, this actually, this is a sink that uses the toilet clean water, mind you, not dirty water. Water that comes from the pipes. It comes right here first, and then when you flush the toilet, it comes through here and this, it dribbles down here, and you can wash your hands after you're done. Completely, this is a great, I really think this is a great idea for saving water for the environment, because once you wash your hands, then it goes inside here and it waits for the next time you use the toilet, and then it flushes it out. I don't know if you know how, to, how a toilet works, but usually water just sits in here. It's completely clean. Hasn't, <coughs> excuse me, hasn't been through the toilet system yet. This, you know, and then you wash your hands and it saves the, this is great. I love this little thing, it's really interesting. And of course there's a blue thing, a little ball thing. This is just a typical, it makes, whoa, I'm breaking the toilet here. It makes the, uh, makes it smell better, right? The water, I guess. They have these in America too, but they're usually inside the toilet. This one's on top, so that's that, right? So anyway, let's actually try it. So let's, let's plus this button, let's do the small one because there's uh, nothing in here. Let's not be assholes and destroy the environment. Do this, small, and then check this out. Look, the water comes. You see the water? You can wash your hands here. Isn't that nice? And then the toilet's flushing, then you dry your hands here, like, like normally, right? And then the water goes. It's still going. I'm gonna wait for the water to be done going. Okay. Okay, toilet's, it's done. It was done going now. Now, I actually wanna, I wanted to try and, you know, these are really interesting. I wanted to show you these things, but obviously, I'm not gonna get naked here and show you my booty, because I don't wanna scar everyone for life. So, but what I can't, what I figured out, is we can just open this up right here, and then I've got this handy dandy candy tray. I'm gonna, we're gonna protect ourselves from the water that splashes up. And then we can see the little thing, and then the wash, and then we can try it out, and see how this really works. Okay, here we go. First, let's just try the regular Oshiri oh, butt. That means butt. The butt, regular butt setting. Um, so, first of all, we have to do, and for this will work, because this is a, it's intelligent toilet. It's toilet technology. You put your hand here. This is simulating the booty. And if you saw, the little light came on, right? So now it thinks that we're sitting here. So that's pretty cool. We fooled the intelligent toilet. Ha! So you, that shows you, you toilet. Anyway, so let's try, let's do this toilet. So, here we go. This is going to be crazy. Let's do it. I don't know how this is going to work. I pressed it. Look at that. It's going. There's the little guy. There he is. You see, oh my god. Oh my god. See, he's, oh my Jesus Christ. It's done. Now it's done because I moved my hand. You see that? That was really strong. Jesus Christ. No wonder I hated this thing. Apparently there's, there's a, let's try the other setting. Let's try this one. This was a Yawarakai. That means softer. Let's do that one. 
hand here. This I'm gonna try not to move man this time. Yo, what a guy. Go. Oh my god, oh I dropped the thing, so it's not good. Go, go. Okay. Yeah, see there, that's better, right? This whoa, it's this is this is soft. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's enough. That's the soft setting? Wow. Okay. Anyway. Your booty will be thoroughly washed. This is what we know from that. Let's try this one. Pink. I don't even know what happens. Oh wait, I gotta put my hand here first. Let's try the pink setting. Go. Okay. It's going. It's what's gonna happen. I don't know. Oh my god. Okay. That's like the. It's really high. Jesus. Oh my god. This is a disaster. Okay. Stop. 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 Oh. oh all right. So that washes something. Something. It washes something. All right. And then this is my favorite one. Let's do that. Because now we're all wet. We got our booty wet. Let's try this out. So, oh wait, I forgot. Simulate the booty, and then bam! Look at that. This is nice. It's nice and hot, warm air. Oh god, it kind of smells a little bad. <coughs> okay, that's enough of the booty air wash. <coughs> it smells like a, like sterilized, like a hospital or something. <laughs> anyway, so this is the Japanese toilet. Very interesting. Very completely different from American toilet. I know. It's, we made a huge mess here. We got some cleanup to do, don't worry. Anyway, so, hope you've enjoyed the Japanese toilet. And I hope you have a chance to use it when you actually, um, I probably shouldn't sit so close to this thing. When you actually come to Japan, right? Um, oh, one more thing though. This is the house toilet, typical house toilet. When you go out to public bathrooms, they sometimes will have this one, but a lot of times they'll have something that's just a hole in the ground. It's very different. I'll probably show you a picture in a little bit here. But uh, that one is just for the for the poo-poos. You do that, you have to squat. It's really interesting. Um, a little different, but more often than not, if you're staying in the Japanese house, you're gonna find one of these here. These are more user-friendly. So that was the Japanese toilet. Hey, what's up? So this is like the third time I'm doing this, so you should kind of know what's going on. But uh, this is part of actually a series, what it's really like in Japan. And I have a bunch more over on my website through my video newsletter. Uh, so if you like this, you can go ahead and get some more over there. Down below, there's a link where you can sign up with your email address. And you get free videos. I get free hits from my website. So it's, it's a win-win for everybody. Anyway, so I will see you in there. And uh, talk to you later.